If you have been using Manus, you need to stop what you are doing right now and pay attention to what just dropped. Manus 1.6 launched two weeks ago, and I am watching people who tested it in the early days completely miss what this update actually unlocks. Because here is the truth. This is not a minor improvement. This is the update that turns Manus from a decent research and web tool into something that genuinely replaces your entire development workflow. Mobile apps, interactive design editing, autonomous execution that actually finishes without you babysitting it every three minutes. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to charge $2,500 for mobile apps you build in under four hours. And I will show you the one capability buried in Manus 1.6 Max that most people testing this right now are completely ignoring. I am Paul James. I show people how to turn AI tools into real income without a developer salary or a massive software budget. And what Manus just released is one of those rare moments where a platform you thought you understood completely changes the game on you overnight. Here is what is new in Manus 1.6. First, they launched Manus 1.6 Max, which is a completely rebuilt core agent architecture. What that means for you is it plans better, it reasons through complex problems better, and most importantly, it finishes tasks on the first attempt without making you restart the workflow halfway through. The one-shot task success rate jumped dramatically. Internal benchmarks show information retrieval went from 71.4 to 81. Spreadsheet handling climbed from 72.8 to 82.2. Web development jumped from 62.8 to 80. User satisfaction in double-blind testing increased by 19.2%. People preferred the output even when they did not know which version they were using. That is not incremental. That is a foundational leap. But here is where it gets wild. Manus 1.6 now builds mobile applications, not web apps that kind of work on mobile. Actual native mobile apps for iOS and Android, end to end. You describe what you want in plain English, and Manus handles the entire build, the backend, the databases, the user authentication, the deployment. You are not writing code. You are not hiring a developer at $150 an hour. You are describing the outcome, and the agent does the rest autonomously. Watch what happens next. The second major addition is Design View. If you have ever used Manus before, you know the frustration of trying to get visuals exactly right through text prompts. Move the logo slightly left, make the button bigger, adjust the spacing, it is miserable. Design View gives you an interactive canvas where you point and click to edit images, layouts, and UI elements directly. No more typing 15 variations of the same prompt, hoping the AI understands what you mean. You drag, you tweak, you adjust, and the AI renders it in real time. This is a massive unlock for anyone doing client work where visuals matter. Real quick, drop a like and comment below. I will reply with a link to free training on turning tools like this into income. Now let me explain what I call the autonomous execution upgrade. This is the framework for understanding why Manus 1.6 Max is fundamentally different from the version you tested six months ago. The old Manus required supervision. You had to check in, guide it through tricky spots, and restart workflows when something broke. Manus 1.6 Max is built for real autonomy. It handles planning, problem solving, and execution without you stepping in every five minutes. That shift matters because it changes your capacity. You can stack more client projects, you can take on bigger builds, you can charge more because you are delivering faster without sacrificing quality. That is leverage you did not have before. Remember I mentioned that one capability people are ignoring? We are getting there. But first, let me show you where I messed up when I first tested this update. Here is what I got wrong. I assumed mobile development was just a nice to have feature. I thought web apps were good enough for most client work. That assumption cost me three potential deals before I realized mobile is where the actual money is for local businesses. Service companies live on mobile. Their customers are on phones. Their teams are in the field using apps, not sitting at desktops. When you walk into a pitch with a mobile solution instead of a web dashboard, the entire conversation changes. You are solving the problem they actually have instead of offering something they have to adapt to. Now let me break down how this turns into real income. A designer I know charged $2,500 using exactly this workflow. Local Gym needed a mobile app for class scheduling, membership tracking, and payment processing. She described the entire system to Manus 1.6 Max in plain English. The agent built it. She tweaked the visuals in Design View delivered a working iOS and Android app in under six hours total. Profit margin on that project was over 90% after platform costs. 
That is the difference between trading time for money and using leverage to deliver outcomes clients pay for. Here's the angle almost nobody talks about. Internal business tools. Small companies need custom software, but they cannot afford a development team. Inventory management apps, employee scheduling systems, client intake tools that auto-populate CRM databases. These are not flashy consumer apps. These are boring operational tools that solve expensive problems. And businesses will pay between $1,500 and $4,000 for something that actually works because the alternative is hiring developers for $20,000 or dealing with broken manual processes. Manus 1.6 Max handles these perfectly because it manages databases, authentication, and backend logic autonomously. You describe the workflow. It builds it. You deliver it. You might think mobile app development still requires technical expertise. Here is why that is wrong. Non-technical people are winning with this because they focus on solving business problems instead of getting lost in code. They talk to clients. They identify bottlenecks. They describe solutions clearly. Manus handles the complexity, you handle the relationship, the discovery, and the sale. The AI does the labor. Okay, here is that capability everyone is missing. Wide research now runs on the Manus 1.6 Max architecture. That means when you ask it to research a topic, all of the parallel sub-agents are using the upgraded intelligence, you get deeper analysis, better accuracy, and more reliable insights without manually reviewing every output. Most people testing Manus 1.6 right now are playing with mobile development and design view. They are completely ignoring the fact that research workflows just got massively better. If you are doing competitor analysis, market research, or content strategy for clients, this upgrade alone justifies the cost of using Max over the standard version. Foundation done. Now here is how to actually profit from mobile app builds. You are not building one app and hoping it pays the bills. You are stacking repeatable workflows across multiple clients. Appointment scheduling, payment processing, customer communication dashboards. These core features show up in almost every service business. You build the framework once in Manus, then you customize it for each new client. Hair salon gets a booking app. Law firm gets a client intake app. HVAC company gets a service request tracker. Same core structure, different branding and tweaks. That is how you go from $2,000 a month to $8,000 a month to $20,000 a month. You are leveraging proven systems, not reinventing solutions every single time. Here's how this could work. Imagine you approach a real estate agent who loses deals because clients cannot reach them fast enough. Calls go to voicemail, text messages pile up, Buyers move on to agents who respond immediately. You build a mobile app that tracks leads, sends automated follow-ups, and surfaces high-priority contacts with push notifications. You charge the agent $2,200 to set it up. Manus 1.6 Max builds the entire system in under five hours. You test it, adjust the design and design view, and deliver a polished product. Your time investment is six hours. Your revenue is $2,200. Your profit margin after platform costs is close to 100%. That math works when the AI handles the technical labor and you focus on the business relationship. The pattern I keep seeing is businesses stuck between manual spreadsheets and enterprise software they cannot afford. They know their current process is costing them money, but a custom build from a dev shop costs $50,000 and takes six months. You walk in with a solution that costs $3,000, takes two weeks, and actually solves their exact problem. Manus 1.6 Max makes that possible because the agent is sophisticated enough to handle real complexity without constant oversight. Most tutorials stop at showing you how the tool works, but mobile apps are not just about building something cool. They are about delivering solutions businesses will pay for right now. Service companies need customer-facing apps. Startups need internal tools. Local businesses need operational software. All of them have budgets. All of them have pain points. Manus 1.6 gives you the ability to deliver working products without hiring a team or spending months learning to code. This next part separates people who test tools from people who build businesses with them. You need to understand service pricing. If you charge $500 for a mobile app, you are competing with offshore developers and templates. You lose. If you charge $10,000, you are competing with agencies that have entire teams. You lose. The sweet spot is $1,500 to $3,000 for focused solutions that solve specific problems. You are not building the next Instagram. You are building a scheduling app for a dental office or a lead tracker for a consultant. Narrow scope, clear value, fast delivery, that is how you win deals and stack revenue.
Pause for a second. Think about the businesses in your area. Which one has a problem you could solve with a mobile app? Where is there a gap between what they need and what they currently have? If you can identify that gap, you already have a viable product to build and sell. So here is the answer to that question I asked at the very beginning. The capability people are ignoring is not just mobile development or design view. It is the fact that Manus 1.6 Max operates autonomously enough that you can handle multiple client projects simultaneously without burning out. The old version required you to check in constantly. This version runs workflows to completion without supervision. That capacity shift is what lets you go from freelancer income to agency income without hiring a team. You become the orchestrator. Manus becomes the labor. Here is what the next seven days look like. Day one, you upgrade to Manus 1.6 Max and test a mobile app build, something simple to see how the workflow feels. Day two, you identify three businesses in your network that need mobile solutions. Day three, you reach out with specific offers, not vague pitches, concrete solutions to real problems you know they have. By day seven, you have at least one interested prospect and a working demo you built in Manus to walk them through. 30 days from now, you have closed your first deal and delivered a product. 90 days from now, you are stacking clients and scaling revenue without adding overhead. Or you can keep doing it the old way. Spend weeks learning to code, outsource development, and hope it works. Pitch web apps when clients want mobile. Watch people using Manus 1.6 max close deals faster, deliver better products, and charge more because they have leverage you are choosing not to use. The gap between people adopting this update and people ignoring it is going to be massive by the time summer hits. That gap translates directly into income, capacity, and opportunity you either capture now or miss completely. If you drop a like, share this with someone who needs it, and comment below, I will reply with a link to that free training that shows you how to turn AI tools into actual income. And again, I will not try and sell you Go High Level because there are free tools out there now that do the same thing just as good. This is about recognizing when a tool you already know just became 10 times more valuable and acting on it before everyone else catches up.